A City News exclusive now. What was supposed to be a bright display of school pride has ended up as an expensive embarrassment for Ryerson. Live to Adrian Gobro with why take two of a street makeover is paving the way for student anger. Adrian. Roger, for the better part of a year, Ryerson has been trying to figure out a way to fix a botched paint job here on Gould Street. Now with school fees unbearable for some students, they're now speaking out. Who are we? The students! What do we want? Feed the feed! A rally today at Ryerson University calling for more accountability from administration whose students say squander university funds. There are more important priorities to the education of students than painting the road blue. One of the reasons Ryerson's administration is getting a failing grade from its own student body, the summer of 2013. Administration greenlit a project to paint a block of Gould Street gold for reported $25,000. A month later, what was supposed to be a more permanent blue coating of epoxy paint was applied at a reported $170,000. Problem is the paint didn't even last a semester, peeling off once winter set in. Each year, our tuition fees go up, um, yet it's very clear that there's money in the university budget to do things like paint the road. We expect our tuition fees to go towards bettering our education, which wasn't the case with this money. A year later, November 2014, this is the result. As you can see, the street has been scraped and now it needs to be resurfaced at a cost of $37,000. Massive waste? Massive waste, yeah. Absolutely. Last week, we began asking the university some basic questions, like who's paying for the road work? The answer was not so simple. On Thursday, the communications department told us via email, the city is repaving the street at no cost to Ryerson, something the city denied. Ryerson approached us about uh, resurfacing the street and we were able to negotiate with our surface maintenance to go ahead and do that work. Ryerson is paying for it uh, and it's going to be 37,000, that includes GST. So we went back to Ryerson who changed their tune on Friday. In this email, they say the vendor has agreed to bear the costs. Ryerson has declined multiple requests for an interview on camera. The money that was originally allocated to Julia Hannesberg's office was for staff. It was reallocated to paint the road. In an email response, Ryerson says there was no reallocation of funds. The painting was part of a beautification project in the summer of 2013. The total amount of the botched paint job hasn't been disclosed to City News. Estimates put it upwards of $200,000. But Julia Hannesberg, Ryerson's VP of Administration, is quoted in the school paper saying Ryerson paid $111,000 before stopping payment. She also apologized for the paint job in a blog entitled, I'm sorry. It is frustrating, absolutely frustrating. Why can't they spend that money on giving out more scholarships or stopping increases in tuition fees? It's ridiculous. <laughs> you know, this is where the priorities of the university is. It's, it's making the street look nice and colorful, but like students can't buy textbooks because they're so expensive. Oh, Hannesburg is actually leaving the university in January to become CEO and president of the Holland Bloorview Kids Rehabilitation Hospital. Now, as you can see here on Gould Street, the resurfacing is set to begin this week. Live in Ryerson, I'm Adrian Gobriel, City News.